Hey guys, hope you're well. So this lesson, we're gonna talk about solubility and conductivity. Now, right now, those two words are like, Kevin, what? What does that even mean, bro? Don't worry, super easy concept. So what we're gonna quickly do is we are gonna look at sugar. You know, sugar that you put in like your tea, coffee, the sugar you find in chocolates, all of these things. Um, that's the sugar I'm talking about. So let's just say, for example, that this is what sugar looks like, okay? Let's just say that it's, um, it's not exactly what it looks like in real life, but to get my, my points across, this is what we can do. Let's say that's what sugar looks like, okay? Now, sugar, this is most important, sugar is not ionic, okay? In the previous lesson we spoke about, and we've spoken about this in previous chapters, um, what ionic is. Ionic is when you have um, positive cations and negative anions um, in a crystal lattice, in a crystal lattice. In fact, we're actually gonna draw something ionic over here. So let's just say that this is sugar, okay, and ionic. So an ionic substance would have, um, it's got a crystal lattice, which we have showed you before, but the difference between this one and sugar is that this one has ions, so positives and negatives. Now what happens is that when you put um, sugar into water, then obviously we've got all these water molecules, okay? Um, H2O, H2O, so we've got a whole bunch of water molecules. Now, for some weird reason, even though sugar is not ionic, it still has positive and negative areas but it's not completely positive and negative like we have over here. So we won't call them ions, but we can still say that some of the parts are a little bit more positive. Now, when I use that symbol, it means a little bit, and then some parts here are a little bit negative, a little bit positive, a little bit negative, a little bit positive. You get the idea, okay? But it's not completely negative and positive. It's just a little bit. Obviously, I'm simplifying things, but that's because you guys don't need to know this in huge detail. Not actually, you don't have to know it like in large detail at all. But it's just, um, it's a little bit important, but I don't need to go into the severe details, okay? So, and then remember, I showed you in the previous lesson that water also has this amazing thing where it's, the, the, the oxygen part is always a little bit negative, and the hydrogen is always a little bit positive. Now that you'll learn more about in grade 11 about why that is, okay? In grade 10, we don't need to know that. If your teacher's in grade 10 and if your teacher's, if you're in grade 10 and your teacher's going quite into detail about that, well, unfortunate for you, some teachers do do it like that, but it's not it's not actually part of grade 10. So, um, but some teachers do do that. I do remember that as well, and I've seen it. Okay, so what happens is that um, these water molecules um, are still are going to be able to dissolve um, sugar. Sugar dissolves really nicely in water. If you take a glass of water and you throw a little bit of sugar in and you mix it up, you'll see that the sugar gets completely dissolved, okay? And so what you would eventually end up with is all these like little individual sugar particles, okay? Let's just do it like that. So what we can say is that sugar is soluble. When something is soluble, it means that it can be dissolved. It can be dissolved. Can be dissolved. Meaning that it can be broken up from this into, into this part over here, okay? So sugar is soluble. Now, Ionic substances, as I showed you in the previous lesson, they also break up. Remember how I showed you? They are also soluble. And just in summary, what we said was that um, the water molecules, which are um, have positives and negatives, they start surrounding, all the oxygens, which are negative, start being attracted to the positives, okay? And the hydrogens, which are positive, they start being attracted to the negative parts of this ionic substance. And what happens over time is that these ions get pulled apart again. There's something interesting coming up, guys. We're gonna talk about conductivity now, so just stick around. 
and so you end up with these ions, okay? I'm not gonna talk about the hydration process which I spoke about in the last lesson. That's not important right now. Okay, so there we've got it, okay? Let's just maybe do another little negative. And so there we can see that um, ionic substances, or let's just say um, that this ionic substance was soluble, okay? Because we were able to broke it up, so hence it is soluble. Not all ionics are soluble, but we're gonna look at that in future lessons. Um, but most ionics are soluble, okay? Now, so that's what solubility is, okay? If something can be broken up, it's soluble. If it can't, so, so let's just say, uh, if a substance can be dissolved, it is soluble. And then if it can't be broken up, then it is, or if it can't be dissolved, then it is not soluble, it's insoluble, okay? So that's what we have so far. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about something called conductivity. So conductivity, um, when we talk about it in this chapter, is all about uh, like electricity, for example. So what I'm gonna quickly draw is I'm gonna make a battery, okay? So let's make a battery like that, or let's just do a cell, okay? And then we're gonna connect that to this little piece of equipment over here, and then we're gonna connect it to this little piece of equipment over here, okay? And we're then gonna have a container, and let's show it like that. Oh, and let's actually put a light bulb. Sorry, I just had a light bulb moment there. Haha, <laughs> Kevin, you're so funny, my dude. Okay, so let's say here we have some type of, um, I don't know, that's my light bulb. After doing this for so long, I still can't draw a light bulb. Shocking. Okay, so there's the light bulb, okay? Jeez, my drawings are so bad, I actually have to label them. Light bulb. Right. So, this, okay, so what happens now is normally in an electrical circuit, if you want the light bulb to be able to shine, then your electrical circuit actually needs to rather look like this. It needs to be, um, here's your light bulb, so let's just draw it like this. But then there, the wires have to go all the way back to the other side again, okay? Um, have to go all the way back to the other side. So a circuit has to be complete. If it's not complete, then there will be no electricity flowing and your light bulb will not shine. Now, does this circuit look complete? Well, of course not. You can see there's nothing connecting these two parts together. By the way, these two parts over here, they are called electrodes. Don't worry too much about that for now. In grade 12, you start looking at that a bit more in detail, but just know that they are called electrodes. So, what we can see is that this circuit, nothing's gonna happen because there is a gap over here. You can see there's nothing over there, okay? So it's almost like I take one of these things away. That's not gonna work, right? Now, some types of solutions can actually help bridge the gap over here. They do it in a very weird way, which you will look at in more in detail in grade 12. Um, but there's this, some solutions are able to help us um, move the electricity from the one side to the other side, okay? So let's see if our sugar solution would work. So if we go back, this is what our sugar solution looks like. There's no positives and negatives. Um, well, there's no ions, okay? Remember, these are ions. When it's got like a, this is only, this only means a little bit positive, but that's not an ion. An ion is when it's got a completely positive and a completely negative. Those are what ions are, okay? These are not ions. So let's go take our sugar solution and let's go put it into this container and let's see if any light bulb moments will happen. Okay, now remember, this is sugar, which does not have ions, so it's got no ions. And what happens, guys, is that the light bulb does not shine. So what we can say is that sugar is soluble because it can be dissolved. We learned about that in the previous lesson. Sugar is soluble. It can be dissolved, but cannot conduct electricity. 
So we call it a non-electrolyte. An electrolyte is a, subs is a solution, let's say it's a solution that can conduct electrolytes. Electricity. Okay, so nothing will happen if you in you you can throw as much sugar as you want You can go and put as much sugar inside here as you want Nothing will happen because sugar is it is soluble so it can mix it can dissolve into the water But it cannot conduct electricity. So it is a non Electrolyte and an electrolyte is a solution that can conduct electricity, but this is a non electrolyte Okay, now let us go and throw in the ionic substance. Now remember, an ionic substance has ions, cations and anions. So it's got a whole bunch of positives and um, negatives. Okay, so let's just quickly get rid of all these things here. So we're gonna go throw in a whole bit of positives and negatives. And suddenly, the light bulb is able to shine very bright, okay? Um, actually, there's something interesting I want to explain to you guys. So let's say it shines like a little bit, okay? It just shines, um, it shines bright like that. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay, Kevin, that was really out of the out of character, my boot. Let's just carry on. Sorry, guys. But I actually want to be a singer one day. That's my that's my dream. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay, I'm joking, guys. I hate singing. I cannot sing. Um, except when I'm in the shower, then I sound amazing. Now, if we um, now what happens is that if we go and well, let, let's just first let's just first make a summary. Let's just first make a summary. Um, ionic substances become ions when they are soluble. Remember, not all ion ionic substances are soluble. I did mention that. Um, I did mention it on this slide over here. So not all ionic substances are soluble, but most of them are. So when an ionic substance is soluble, then it gets converted into ions like that, okay? If it is soluble. Now, um, now a solution that contains ions can conduct electricity so it is an electrolyte okay now what happens is that if i throw in more um if i throw in more of the ionic substance it's going to dissolve and it's going to turn into ions so if i put more in oh i don't know what happened there okay so let's just go put a whole bunch more then suddenly, the light will go even brighter. So if I add more, then it goes brighter. If you increase the iron concentration, then the conductivity increases. Okay? But when you took the sugar, no matter how much sugar you added, so no matter how much concentration you added or increased the concentration of the sugar, nothing happened. Because it is only ions that can um, conduct electricity. Only ions conduct electricity. Okay?